This is the second of the 10 videos in the Firebase login with SwiftUI series. In this video, we'll begin the creation of our UI by creating the data flow for our login. To start, we need to create a new single view application. You can call it what you want, but I'm going to call mine Firebase login and make sure that the user interface is set to SwiftUI and I'll save it to my desktop. When the app launches, we need to determine if the user is logged in, and we need to monitor the state throughout the application lifespan. In SwiftUI, we can create an environment object that will allow us to share data between views in the entire app. This data can contain the login state of our user, as well as other information that we will get to later. To facilitate this, we will create a new Swift file and call it user info. I'll create a class of the same name in this file. And since we want to be able to observe changes, we'll make it an observable object. Our user's login state can be one of three different cases, signed in, logged out, or undefined. This is perfect for an enum. So within that class, let's create an enum called fbAuthState with those three cases. Let's just create a single variable called isUserAuthenticated of type fbAuthState and default it to undefined, which is what it will be when the application first launches. And since we want to monitor any changes to this state, we'll decorate it with the at published property wrapper. In order to change the state, we can create a function that will configure our Firebase Authentication did state change listener. And we'll get to that in a future video. But for now, just create a function called configure Firebase state did change. And for testing purposes, to see how a state change will affect our app, we'll simply change the value of the isUserAuthenticated, like this. It'll either be dot isUserAuthenticated equals signed out, or is user authenticated equals signed in. Let's comment out the second one and configure our app to display what it should look like when a user is signed out after the app launches. Now that we have our observable object defined, we need to inject it into the environment so that we can pass it around. When our app first launches, we're going to create an instance of user info so that shared instance is accessible everywhere in our app. In scene delegate, let's create that instance. Bar user info equals user info. This creates a user info instance and stores it safely. So now we can pass this property into content view as an environment object like this. Now content view is the first view that is presented when the application is launched. So we need to get that user info object from the environment so we can check and update our authentication state. We'll do this by decorating an instance of user info with the at environment object property wrapper. It doesn't need to be initialized with the default value because it will automatically be read from the environment. There are gonna be three cases and I want to be able to show one of three different views depending on the state. And we want to start monitoring that state as soon as our view appears. The best way to deal with this is to use an if-then-else structure to determine which view to present. So let's replace the text block with this code. If user info dot is user authenticated equals equals undefined, we'll just present the text loading in the middle of the screen. Else, if it is equal to dot signed out, we'll present our login view. So right now we'll just do text login view. Else they must be signed in. So we'll present our home view. So right now just text home view. The trouble right now is that it gives me this error. Function declare is an opaque return type, but it has no return statements. Well, that's a Swift UI error that we can solve simply by enclosing our clause with a group. So when our app runs and this view is presented, the value is undefined. So it will show the single loading view. 
What we want to do as soon as it appears is to set up our Firebase listener to check for the current user and determine the state. If it finds that the user is logged in, the state will change and present the second view. If the user is not logged in, it will present the third. So we can call our user info's configure Firebase state did change function in the onAppear method. To finish this tutorial off before we move on, let's just replace those two symbol text views with Swift UI views that we'll configure with our UI in the next tutorial. So create a Swift UI file called login view. We'll need access to our user info environment object that's been injected into the environment, so we can create that here. And we'll replace the hello world text with a button with the title of login. And that login's action will change the state of is user authenticated to dot signed in. Similarly, we'll create a Swift UI file called home view. And as with the last view, we'll create our user info environment object. Let's change the text to logged in as user and we'll embed it in a navigation view. Let's add a navigation bar title called Firebase Login. And I'll add a trailing navigation bar item with a button with a title of Logout and an action that will change the is user authenticated state to dot signed out. Back in content view, we can change the text from login view to present our new login view view and do the same with the home view to present the home view view. Now we're ready to test. When our app launches, user info will be undefined and you should see loading dot 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 in the middle of the screen, but it's going to happen so fast you probably won't because as soon as this content view appears, it calls the configure Firebase state did change function that will set our is user authenticated value to signed out and refresh this view, which should present the login view. Let's see. Yes, it does. If we tap the login button, it will set the state to dot signed in, refresh the view once more and show home view. Tapping the logout button will set it back to dot signed out, refresh the screen again, and now we're back to the login screen. Do you see the flow now? In the next tutorial, we'll look at how we can start configuring our interface for logging in. Videos for this series are being posted as they're created, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to be notified when new ones are posted, not only for this playlist, but for all of my SwiftUI videos.